new beginning, a new era, a new perhaps golden age of Tejano <laughs> as we start off to embrace the, the younger audiences, the younger generations to bring them into the um, circle right. of Tejano music fans all across the country. His name is Eric Lee. He's a Tejano pop singer. He is the son of Lee Villarreal. Okay, if From that name Desperados. Right. If that That's brings right. the name, that rings a bell, it's of course <laughs> the Desperados. The family legacy continues. Yes. Eric, welcome to Living Life. Thank you so much for having me. It's, it's such a, an honor, it's honestly. So, it's so good to have you here, really honestly. Uh, you're, you're such a, 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 a just breath, just fresh air coming into oh, the Mingo Live. Well, I took a shower, so uh, I think, that's yeah. What it is. That's what it is, that's what it is. So, you know, share with us um, about growing up in the industry because that's what you did. Yes, uh, so I grew up literally as Lee Villarreal's son, right? You, I went to every gig you could possibly go to, whether I had took the bus, or, you know, with them, or whether, you know, it was an, uh, you know, in-town gig. I was there all the time. But I guess because it was blared in my ears so much, it was, I've always wanted to be a pop star <laughs> since I can, like remember mm -hmm. that was always the goal right um, so to have the Hano like kind of blared in your ears as a kid you never want to do what your parents say to do right. you know they're like you need to sing with your dad you need to do this and I'm like yeah 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 that's not gonna get me where I want to be you know I was being very close-minded and being a kid you know um, and as time went on I realized that that's just my roots that's my legacy that's what I do it's gonna be how I and where I am now, but that is why I have the pop in there. So yes, I am a Tejano singer, but I do consider myself heavily Tejano pop because I grew up on the Britney Spears, Janet Jackson, Whitney Houston, you know, the girls, the divas, yes. the NSYNCs. I grew up on that, but my roots, and now, I, now that I love Tejano so much more in a different way, um, I knew that as a kid, as somebody who, who grew up in the Tejano industry, like I didn't want to listen to that. So I'm trying to think, how can I find a way to get other people who aren't necessarily as in love with Tejano music mm -hmm. um, as everybody else is, uh, how can I get them to listen and engage with me? So that's why I slightly, you know, kind of add that pop sprinkle on top. I'm not trying to change it for nobody. I'm not telling anybody to do. I'm not trying to change the industry. This is all a personal preference just for Eric Lee. Sure. This is just what I want to do. And, and you found a niche. There is a following there is a growing interest among maybe not the older Tejano lovers, you'll be surprised right? really <laughs> surprised. tell me about that so so I yeah so I did this because I did want a younger generation to kind of I want to say look up to me other little boys like Eric Lee y'all know what I'm talking about um, you know I didn't have that to look up to you know we had to kind of create it on our own we had to be brave on our own we had to you know do all that by mm -hmm. ourselves so I created this so that I could be that for other little Eric Lee's because I know that there's gonna be other kids boys girls days them whatever you want to whatever they want to call themselves that can look up to us or me you know being part of Latino and Tejano and all that kind of stuff it's hard mm -hmm. it's tough it's different Yes. You know, we don't always have just the easiest um, way of life sometimes. No. So if I could be a beacon of hope, like that's truly what I do, why I do what I do. You know, we've, we've always talked about Rudy and I, we, you know, the, our, our love for Tejano music, you know, from, you know, the classics to now, we embrace it all, just like yeah. a lot of what Tejanos do, they love all kinds of music. And we always talk about how, what can we do? And, and you know, we, we look forward to new artists to, to help us help everybody embrace our culture embrace our music and keep it going yes. it's so important for the young ones like you mentioned to to look up and say hey, I like that song and mm -hmm. and enjoy our culture and enjoy our music to keep it going to keep it alive it's so important yes I, I agree I think what I don't want to say the word lacks but I think what there needs to be more of is people who perform their songs we can sing the songs back and forth in your backyard on the stage and you can stand there but if you want a young crowd to engage with you i believe i i'm not saying i know everything but i do believe you have to be a little bit more peppier you do have to kind of command the stage you do got to get them involved a lot of times some people go to a concert and they just want to drink a beer and they want to hear the music they don't even want to watch you know really what's going on they're just talking to their friends or listening to the live music i believe if we try to put on concerts or try to put on performances and get the people engaged and I think that you know if that's what I want to do and I think that that can help really bring in because what do kids love to do they love to watch videos of mm. people 
performing at their best. That's you right. Know? Yeah. True. And you have got a song that made it on the top 20 down a roll countdown as well. <laughs> yes. You, you I did had great. Two. Two of them, actually. <laughs> two of them. That's right. <laughs> yes. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just very proud of it. I'm oh, very proud of it. And you yes. should be. As yes. I've always be. wanted my own music. So for it to even be acknowledged and liked, and yeah, I did have Toda la Noche, which was one of the cumbias I did sing. Um, and then I did have Tano Pop that made it to uh, top three, which is so crazy. And yep. it's. It's, it's, it's exciting to me, but that song means a lot to me because it is literally my story. It's who I am. Um, yes, Gabriel Zavala wrote it, but you can't fake my life. You can't just write anything. What he wrote is truly who I am, what I am, what I've been through, and what I see myself doing for the future. And I felt like when I heard it at first, I I'm, I mean, I'm a, I'm a Chion. I cry all the time, but when I get when I get my songs back, it's very emotional. But that one in particular, when I heard the demo, and of course, sometimes I have to translate things. I don't always, See? you know. So I translate it to make sure I understand what it is. And for him to be able to write out my life story like that, and not no one can sing that song other than me. You know what I mean? And I think that that's what's the cool part. Yes, you can cover it, but it's my story, and that's what I believe is so beautiful about that song. What can we do as a community? Me as a parent, you know, I have a little girl, she's eight, loves all kinds of music, mm -hmm. by the way. I play a little bit of everything, she loves it. She's jams into everything I love. What can we do as a community and as parents to embrace, you know, you know, artists like yourself and to embrace our culture, to, to introduce them to our children and, and keep it going? I think just showing your children that it's fun, that the music is fun. I think sometimes they have a picture of what it is, they have the sound of what it is, but showing them other artists, new artists, anybody who's who's new and their own flavor, and not just as a parent, but as anybody as an audience who's a Tahano fan, y'all need to just listen to the music. Just mm -hmm. listen to it. If you don't like it, change it. Mm -hmm. If you want to hear someone else, put on someone else, but give everybody their shot to do what they're doing. We go, I see a lot of people dig right away. That's not Tahano. That's not it doesn't matter. Just listen to the song. If you don't like it, there's so many other people for Hey, I look good. There's so many people for you. To to. You know what I mean? That's that's what I believe. I think if we just open our ears, listen to the music, and enjoy the artist for what art they're providing. That's all you got to do. You don't have to compare it. You don't have to judge it. If you don't like it, turn it off. If I don't like that's a song, right. that's what I do. And I'm asking you because you grew up listening to your dad and you And I turned off a lot yeah, of songs yeah, I didn't like. You probably didn't think it was cool because you're like, here's yes, my dad again. Yes, so yes, it yes. was different. When did you start embracing your dad's music? When did I start embracing his music? Um, I want to say I hit about um, 25. Okay. It took a while. It took a good while because I was really I was still trying to find myself and figure my own self out. It's a battle, you know, inside me. So to fall in love with the Hano music, it was because I needed to fall in love with who we are, what we are, what we do. And that's what I slowly did. Mm -hmm. And that's how the first song I ever sang was Cuatro Caminos because I uh, wanted to sing it. Too. And love that's that the song. song. <laughs> so we want to get a hold of that's you right. as far as social media. How yes. do you do that? So um, all my usernames are at Soy Eric Lee. Um, which is also the name of my upcoming album. There you uh, go. Yes, but so Eric Lee, you can find me anywhere. And if you are on YouTube, you can type in Eric Lee TV. Okay, there very cool, Eric. Perfect. Thank you so much. We thank appreciate you. it. Um, we've got some more videos coming in and some more music from Eric Lee coming up next year on the Mingo Live. So stick around. Maz Musica on the way. We'll be right back.